Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade and today I am doing a TMI book tag. So the first question is what fictional character has the best style? And I definitely have to go with Selena from the Throat of Glass novel. She loves like long pretty dresses but she also dresses in like you know like assassin wear like I don't know it's just the perfect thing. I would that's what I would want honestly if I had a choice I would probably be exactly like Selena. It's just my wish, man. But that's all right. And then the next one is um, your crush from book series, and that's definitely been Percy Jackson from the Lightning Thief series. I was in love with him for about ten years. I honestly want to say no. I haven't read this for ten years, but it's been like eight, six to eight years, I think. I was in love with him. I still love him. It's just like not as much because the book series is kind of written at a lower reading level and it's kind of hard for me to get his into. But I love him still because of the Lost Hero series. So he's still pretty great. The next one is have you ever loved a character and then started hating them? And I tried to think about this and I honestly don't think I have. Um, there's a lot of series that I haven't gotten really, really far into and I need to and that's probably what a lot of people would use is like how like farther in a series people get more unlikable but I have not had that happen to any series yet so I don't have a character I started hating I honestly really don't hate characters so I don't know <laughs> and then um the longest book I have on my shelf is A Dance with Dragons which I think is the fourth um Game of Thrones book. It's almost 1,100 pages. I haven't read it. This is like a special edition, so like you can't really tell that it's big until you're like, oh. And then look at all the writing on these pages. Like, it's a big book. It's a big book. And then the next one's weird to me. It's the heaviest book on your shelf. And I was just like, okay. I just basically picked up two books. So I was like, alright. So I went with Now I Rise by Kirsten White. It is actually pretty heavy if I'm going to be honest. This is the second book to the And I Darken series and it's one of my favorite series ever. Love this. I haven't read this yet though. I really freaking need to. And then do you have any book posters? I do not. Um, I have a lot of art on my wall but I've never like I've never like gone online looking for like book posters. I think the reason with that is like I've never really had money to do that so I also don't the next question which is book themed jewelry I also don't have that just because I when I'm really into books like obsessed with them, like the Percy Jackson series I didn't have the money to pay for anything like that I wanted to but I couldn't and then I just usually don't think about doing it if I'm gonna be honest and my book OTP I have to go with from Truth Witch I really love Safi I honestly don't know how to say her name. Um, Safi and Merrick. I haven't read the second book yet, but I think they're really, really cute together and I really like them. So I think they're kind of my book OTP, besides like Percy and Annabeth, but that's just an obvious one, so I wanted to pick someone different. And then my next one is favorite... Ooh, I was about to miss one. Favorite book series. And with that, I actually went with The Lost Hero series by Rick Riordan. Because it's written at a higher level than the Lightning Thief series, and I loved, I loved all the new characters and the back and forth. It was also kind of infuriating, but I think it actually added quite a lot to the story. And I really want to reread these sometime like this year, next year probably, since it's already almost December. <laughs> so I won't get to that this year. And then my next one's the favorite book to movie soundtrack. And this might seem weird, but if I stay. I love the cello pieces that are in the movie. I think they're really, really amazing. Um, I actually like stayed up listening to it, and I would just fall like the every time I watch the movie, I fall asleep listening to the soundtrack. I bought it and everything, and then that's the only movie soundtrack I've ever bought. And I love um, the songs on it too. Gosh, they're so beautiful. Honestly, I just it's so beautiful. <laughs> that's really all I have to say about that. And then, um, a book story you miss slash wish would continue. Um, that I have, I would totally choose the Percy Jackson series. That's actually what I had in mind for that one. And 
because it makes me sad that like you don't get to follow Percy to college but it makes sense that you don't and he is apparently in other books I just ha I like he's in the Apollo Trials of Apollo books which is really awesome and he's in the senior year trying to get good grades and stuff so I actually think it's good that they don't continue it and I think a lot of the series I would probably say for this I haven't finished yet like I haven't finished the Raven Cycle series vacuuming great I haven't finished the I haven't finished the Throne of Glass series, so there's just like a lot of the series that I would probably choose for it. I honestly just haven't finished. And then my favorite standalone is definitely They Both Die at the End by Adam Savannah. This is one of my favorite books I've ever read. It's so amazingly beautiful and I just, I love it so much and I love them so much. And they're also my OTP, they were the other people I was thinking for OTP because they're so cute together. I love Mahito and um I always forget their names so Mahito and Rufus I love them together I think they're so cute and I'm probably gonna have to stop recording because my mom's vacuuming but I really don't want to so like if there's if you can hear it I'm sorry but I'm having fun so I'll probably stop at some point but next is since when do you read books and I think that question means like when you started reading books which I've answered in my book to newbie tag I think I was about fourth grade, I started really, really getting into books. I was into Garfield a lot before then, but then I started reading, like, actual books. And then, which Hogwarts house are you in? I am in Ravenclaw. All the way. <laughs> I just, I don't honestly know how to explain it, I just, I'm totally Ravenclaw. The next question is, what quality do you look for in a book? And I definitely look for fantasy elements. Um kick-ass girl female like main characters or boy I guess but I tend to like girl better and that's what you usually see um I really like switching perspectives a lot even if it's just occasionally to help the book go along I'm pretty sure and I darken did that um not really sure though but I just love books that have like occasionally like different chapters from others perspectives and they give like a different perspective of what's going on in the book and I think that's really awesome so those are really what I really look for. And then it's my favorite book quote, and that is actually, a, uh, my favorite quote is from The Lovely Bones. And I forgot to bring it over here, so like, I'm just gonna, um, oh, I can't look it up. Ah, oh, I have to go get it. Okay, let's continue. I love the way the burnt out flash cubes of the Kodak marked a moment that I passed on. One that would be gone forever except for a picture when they were spent. I could now look back. I had rescued the moment by using my camera and in that way had found a way to stop time and hold it. No one could take that image away from me because I owned it. The Lovely Bones, page 212. I love that book. It's really good. Alright, the next one is favorite author. I don't know. That's a really hard question. I love a lot of authors. I obviously love Rick Riordan. I love Adam Savella, Savella, even though I've only read one of his books. I've just decided I do. Sarah J. Mass. Um, ooh. Who wrote that series? Um, Sa Sahira Tahir. She wrote the... Um, Torch Against the, Against the Night is the second book. So an Ember in the Ashes. Love her. And then there was also someone I was going to say, you know, I can't remember. Um, Maggie Steve Otter is really good. There's just, I love a lot of authors. If I'm going to be honest, I can't really pick a favorite. Um, favorite book cover? Definitely. Sorry to pick this book again, but they both die at the end. I think this is the most, like, original and beautiful book cover I've ever seen. And I really, really love it. Action or romance? Action, 100%. I love action. I also think romance is pretty awesome and it really helps a book like have feeling. And I don't mind having romance in every book. I love it. But action's my favorite thing to read in a book. That's why I love A Throne of Glass a lot. Um, where do you go when a sad moment happens? Well, I'm usually reading the bath. So I'm usually like in there. And then I'll go like in my bed and cry. Because most books make me cry. Not as much lately, but they usually seem to. How long do you need to finish a book? It depends on if I'm actually trying to really read. If I'm actually trying to read just two days. Um, but if I'm like just reading like randomly, like 
two weeks, honestly. But it only takes me two days to read a book if I'm like, gotta read. Um, how long is your morning period? It's throughout the night. When I'm morning, I just go to bed and I wake up and I'm fine. That's how I deal with being sad. I just go to bed and I wake up and I'm fine. It works pretty great. So just don't finish a book early in the day because then you can't do that and you're stuck. <laughs> um, least favorite book? I don't have one. I mean, there's books I don't like, but there's no book that comes to mind where I'm like, ugh, I hate you. I just don't tend to hate books. And if I don't like them, I almost always put them down. So I honestly just don't know what book I don't like. I don't have any on my shelves, for one thing. Turn on in a character. Ooh. Being funny. I love book characters that are funny because I feel like they add, like, a lot to the book. Percy Jackson's hilarious. Um, who else is funny? I just really love when book characters are funny because that's not something that happens often. Because books want to keep, like, a serious tone. But when they do that, it's really amazing. And then I love characters that are, like, full of themselves but also really sweet. That's also the guy I like in real life. So, like, you know, I like fuckboys. But, like, they have to be actually be sweet and not really fuckboys. <laughs> um, turn off in a character... People who are, like, too full of themselves and they're snobby. Like, you gotta hit the perfect in-between, you know? Um, da -da -da. reason I drain booktube? Well, I already have the Sims YouTubing channel called Jaded Simmer. And I really loved it. And I love watching booktube. The Sims and booktube are my favorite things to watch on YouTube. And I was just like, you know what, why not? We gotta try it. It's been a little bit difficult lately because it's always dark when I come home to film, like when I come home so I can't film, so it's hard finding days to film, and I haven't been reading as much this month because I've started working and it's just like, I just haven't been, but right now I'm actually reading Ugh. One of Us is Lying. Love this book. It's amazing. Alright, name a scary book. I haven't read a scary book. Books never scare me. Of course, I haven't read adult horror books, and I'm going to. Like, I know there's, like, Birchbox and stuff like that. Those are books that I read, and maybe I'll think they're scary when I read them, but I'm not sure. Oh, God, I'm going to sneeze. Achoo! I hate myself. And yeah, my mom's vacuuming too loud. Name a book that made you cry. Um, almost every book makes me cry unless I'm reading a lot of books at once because then they are like in a short period of time because then they don't for some reason. But I definitely cried at They Both Die at the end. I cried at Truth Witch. I cried probably, I don't know. What else would I have cried at? Oh my god, the vacuum. <sighs> Thank you. That was perfect timing because I was about to lose my shiz. I've cried at a lot of books, you guys. La la la. Last book you gave five stars to? What's the last book I've read? Because I almost always give five stars. Um, oh, uh, what book was it? Ow, I hurt myself. I don't know. I read They Both Died Down recently. That got five stars. Um, what else was there? I know. What did I read before you? I have no idea. But I'm just going to go with They Both Died Down. <laughs> um, any favorite book titles? I love And I Darken because I think that's really cool. And I also love, I'm sad to say this again, they both die at the end because I, I didn't say it too much. But I just think they're really, like, And I Die at the end, it's like, whoa, this book's going to be serious. And then um, And I Darken is like, it's just a title I've never really heard before. It's different and I really like it. And I like Now I Rise after it. I think that's really cool. <laughs> um, last book you read. See, I can't remember. But it's something that I had in my TBR. I just can't remember what it is. Book you're reading currently. One of Us is Lying by Karen McManus. Definitely recommend it. I really, really, really like this book. Five stars. Absolutely. Um, last book adaptation you watched. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know the last time I went to a movie, if I'm going to be honest. Yeah, um... I have no idea. 
just gonna go with if I stay, even though I know that's not right, but like I don't I don't know what else is out there. What's the next question? There's so many questions in this tag, you guys. Okay. Um here. A book character you always wanted to talk to. All of them. Um um I don't know. God, these are hard questions. I've always wanted to talk to I think it'd be cool to talk to Kyron from the Percy Jackson series. That'd be pretty nifty. I'd like that. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot. I'm annoying myself. An author you always wanted to talk to. Definitely, probably. Oh, who do I love? There's an author who I've never even read their books, but when I see them on BookTube, I just love who they are. <laughs> I can't think of their name, though. But probably Rick Riordan, because he's pretty cool. But, like, I don't know. I don't like talking to guys. It's kind of weird. Hmm. Yeah, I've never really wanted to talk to an author. I don't know. I just don't think of them as like, oh, they wrote this book. I'm just like, uh, don't care. The book's all I care about. So, honestly, no one. Favorite book snack? Pizza. It's weird. I have pizza stains on a lot of my Percy Jackson books in particular and a lot of books in general. I just, I love pizza. Book world you want to live in. You know, I don't always want to live in worlds, it's usually I want to be the character, but if anything, I'd love to live in the Percy Jackson world, I imagine that forever, as long as I'm a demigod, um, I'd love to live in so many different things. Just a lot of books that are like, it's the normal world, oh, what's the genre called? Urban fantasy. It's a normal world, but there's, like, some magical power. Those books I'd love to live in. Because, like, I want the magical power, but I don't want to live in a mysterious world, you know? That's just how I feel. Um, book you would not want to live in. Probably almost every fantasy book that's not in a special world. I'm actually gonna go with the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. Their world is horribly depressing, and there's just a lot of bad things that are gonna happen. I've only read the first book. But I know that it's about to get very, very bad. Um, last time you smelled a book. I don't really smell books. That's not my thing. I don't know. Sorry. It's just not. Weird insults used in books. Oh, God. Um, definitely the Maze Runner series. I love that their swear words are different. I think that's cool. I know a lot of people didn't like that. I thought that was cool. Um... That's probably the last one that I've, the only one I really know that uses different swear words. I know there's other ones, I just can't think of them. Favorite romance book? Um, they both die at the end. Let's see, let's pick something else though. I don't have a lot of romance. Oh, oh, My Life Next Door. It's over there, I'm not going to get it. I love that book, it's amazing. It's just about this girl who lives with like, a rich mom and perfect house in the next door. There's like a family with so many kids. It's always messy and lovely and light. And she falls in love with one of the guys there. And like she gets to experience what like kind of a real family is like. And then there's tragedy of course. But it's really good. <laughs> um, Do you write? I used to. I like writing. But I've never really been like. I mean I would like to write a book. But I know that there's a lot that goes into it. And I just don't think I ever really would. Maybe short stories, though, I could do that. Favorite magical item? I really love Percy's pen. I think that's super freaking cool. A lot of the Percy, because, like, there's, um, Talia's bracelet that turns into a really badass shield. Like, honestly, just anything from there is really freaking cool. Um, your Quidditch position? I've never taken that test, but honestly, probably Seeker, because everything else seems way too dangerous, and I would not want to be involved in it. So, <laughs> although Harry gets hurt a lot as that, but whatever. Um, name a song you connect to a book. Ah, uh, I have a song, but I need to pick a book that goes to it. Because there's a favorite song I have that I just always love, which is I Hate You, I Love You. I just feel like it's so emotional. There's totally a book that has to be like that. I honestly feel like Throne of Glass will be like that. Even though I haven't gotten to the part of the book where, like, the relationship's going downhill. Actually, yeah, I have. I feel like probably Throne of Glass will fit with that, even though I don't even know. I just have that feeling. <laughs> um, favorite book-related chat-up line? 
I don't know what that means. What does that mean? I have no idea. Um, have you ever used it? No, I don't know what that is. Do you guys know what that is? I don't know what that is. Favorite book fandom? <laughs> Percy Jackson fandom. I loved it. On Instagram, there was always so many, um, like, stories about Percy Jackson and, like, you, and it was, it was so awesome. I loved it. I love the Percy Jackson series. Um, how many books do you own? Over 500. And I really, really need to get so many more. And then who do you tag? I actually have a specific person I need to tag because I promised I would tag her in my next one. So I actually have to go and switch to my booktube account and find her because I can't remember her name. So just, just go on an adventure with me. Oh my god, I got a lot of comments. Oh, I haven't been here in a while. Um, who are you, my love? Is it you? Is it Miss Malio? Oh god, I don't know. I feel bad. I should have been, like, prepared for this. Hang on. Let's just... Let me just... Um... Um... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes, it is Miss Malio, I'm pretty sure. Is it? Yes, it is! I was right! Oh, I knew it! I'm awesome. Okay. So I tagged Miss Malio, and then whoever else wants to do this tag... Because it's fun. I like it. My cat is right here being super cute. I should grab her right here. Come here. Come get my video. Come say goodbye. Ow. I couldn't get her. Come say goodbye with me, Anna. Oh. Oh, no. You're stuck on my sweater. Ah. Come here. No, 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 no. Dear. Hi, Nana. You're so upset. Hi. Oh, she's so angry. Okay. I love you all, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye!